guys, me and my friends have a brand new channel and on the very first episode, I get a butt tattoo. So go show that video some love. Yelling at my employees was hard, but I think they knew I had to do what I did. Or at least I hope they do. Today is my last official day at work though. It's gonna be hard. It's going to be really hard saying goodbye. <sighs> oh, man. Well, today's the day. And it's going to be over. It's actually going to be over. I mean, today is my last day. I mean, I'm gonna have to tell Liz tonight the truth. I mean, I could wait, but I need to tell her. I mean, I don't want to. I mean, I kind of want to, but, oh, I just know the repercussions are gonna be pretty bad, but if I wait any longer than I've already waited, I'm gonna be in more trouble. I don't even wanna be in trouble. I did this for her sake. Kind of for my own sake, but for her sake as well. I hope eventually she can kind of see it that way. I don't know. I'm hoping this stupid coffee will wake me up. So far, no so good. Uh, and it tastes like crap. Why does coffee taste so bad? Everyone makes it out like it tastes good. I've never had a cup of coffee that I enjoyed. Ah, oh, jeez, you scared me. I thought you'd left for work early. I, I'm sorry, Liz. I got up a while back for some coffee. But you hate coffee. Yeah, I know I do, but I'm going to need every ounce of energy today. Obviously, like you said, I don't like coffee, so the energy is more important, though, than my taste buds. I just, I didn't sleep too well last night. <laughs> Hence the coffee. I'm sorry to hear that, honey. If you need me to run over anything while you're at work, just let me know. Oh, no, no, no. That's that's fine. We have a coffee pot, and if worse comes to worse, I'll grab some of the strong stuff from Joe's. You know how much I hate that stuff, but it definitely does the trick. <laughs> Good idea. So, has work gotten any better for you? You got home pretty late last night, and we really didn't get to talk much. Oh, yeah, sorry. I just grabbed a few extra hours so this last paycheck can be big, you know, a big one. What do you mean, last paycheck? Oh, last paycheck? I, uh, I mean, <laughs> last paycheck for the summer quarter. Yeah, because uh, it ends the, this week, the summer quarter. Oh, the summer quarter. Uh, th that, the summer quarter. Yeah, so you going to be here for a bit longer? I can cook you up some breakfast. Well, well, I wish I could, but I really should be get going. Uh, thanks anyway, though. It's no problem. Have a good day, okay? Okay. If I can wake up, I think I'll have a semi-decent day. But, um, I love you. I love you, too. Alright. Later. pretty scared about today. It's just me and my coffee and my cell phone. It's super nauseating. I mean, if she would have cooked me some food, I most likely would have thrown it up. Come to think of it. I mean, today is gonna be a, a day to remember, I guess. I'm just ready for all this craziness to be over. I think as soon as the day's over, I think a lot of stress is going to be off my shoulders. I'm going to be adding some stress to my life, though, when I tell Liz. I just hope in time, like I said, she realizes why I didn't tell her. I mean, she can help me look for a new job, though, so that'll be helpful, seeing as I have yet to find a new job. That is, if she doesn't divorce me. I, I don't know. I, I don't need to think so negatively like that. To think that she's going to divorce me over this is not a good thing. It's not a healthy thing to think. If 
I think such negative thoughts, I'm just going to end up being a negative person. She wouldn't divorce me for something so simple. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't think she would. Oh, God, there you go, Bert. Being a negative Nancy. If you keep thinking like that, you'll live a life of negativity. Well, if only I can just try to keep a positive output on today. Ah, Gary. Um, how can I help you today, bud? Um, look, Gary. I, I know this is, uh, it's tough for you. You're a good kid. And I'm glad I could, you know, have been your boss for as long as I have been. This is the way it's gotta be, though. Just do your best and work hard and... Treat the new boss as kindly as you would me, okay? I don't want to. As much as I know this is a hard time for you, it's really great to hear you talking, buddy. I know you don't do that often. Just try to keep that part up for me. Please don't leave. I'd stay if I could. This isn't my call to make, though. But I'll come and visit. I, I promise. Will you buy me pizza? <laughs> yeah, Gary. I'll buy you pizza. But not until I find a new job. Money might be tight until then, okay? I'm gonna miss you. Even though you got on my nerves quite often, you were like a brother to me. You still are a brother to me. I'm just not going to see you as often. Kind of like my real brother. But like I said, you're my brother, which makes you family. And if you ever need me, call me or have your mom call me and I'll be there. That's a promise. Can you buy me pizza now? <laughs> yeah, sure thing, bud. I'll buy you a slice now. Come on. Let's go over there. All right. Well, that should be everything. I can't believe this is my last time in this office. I, I can't believe I'm gonna be saying goodbye. This has been my, my office for so many years and it was a huge part of my life and it's, it's over. Well, Guess it's time to say goodbye to the office. Bye. Huh. Not to mention this room. Spends a lot of good times microwaving hot pockets in that microwave. And the occasional Pop Tart. <laughs> Okay, I gotta stop being sentimental or I'm gonna end up crying. I just need to walk out that door and just let everything be over. Hmm. Okay, here I go. Um, I guess this is goodbye. I won't be your boss any longer. Um, before I go and I'm not your boss, I, I ask one thing of you. 
I need you to watch over Gary. Keep him out of trouble. If anything happens and I don't know about it or if I don't know about it, please let me know. You have my number. Will do, sir. Thank you, John. Uh, give my love to Rebecca. You take care of the cinema and try to keep everything under control. I'm gonna go now. Goodbye. Goodbye, sir. It'll never be the same. Yeah. I agree. I agree. It's over. It's actually over. It feels fake. Almost as if this is not real. Like I should just be going into work tomorrow. Like nothing's different. But I won't be. I won't ever be getting up again for work at that cinema. That's my last day as manager of that cinema. My cinema. Oh boy. I guess it's time to tell Liz. That might kick some reality in this situation. Ugh. Well, look who finally came uh, home, kids. Hey, hey, you three. Um, so, can I actually just be alone with mommy for a minute, kids? I have some things I need to talk to her about. Oh, don't mind us. Kids will just step in the backyard. Okay. That, that'll, that'll work. Uh, okay. So, like I said, I, I want to talk about something. I want to talk about what has been going on recently at work. About why I've been so stressed this week. I, um, I got fired on Monday. The, the bosses came in and gave me the news. Told me I had till the end of the week. I decided to keep this news quiet from you because... I wanted to try to find a job in the time I had between then and now. I'm so sorry for lying to you. For making things hard here at home. That's not what I had in mind. And I'm sorry I'm only telling you this now. I'm sorry your husband is an unemployed liar. I appreciate you telling me the truth, Joshua. But to be honest, I've known about this since Tuesday. What? Really? Well, of course, silly. I know everything. You should know that by now. I knew if you wanted to tell me the truth, you would. So, I waited till you felt the time was right. So... So you're not mad? Not really. I mean, I wish you wouldn't lie, but I understand you had good intentions. You were trying to keep myself and the family happy in ignorant bliss. Well, I mean, I, I wouldn't use those particular words. I mean, like the ignorant one, but yeah. Look, Josh, I'm sorry about you losing your job. I know how many friends you had over there. I don't even know how hard you have been looking for a job. Did you have any luck with the resumes you sent out yesterday or today? How, how do you know about the resumes I've sent out? Honey, we use the same email account. Oh, yeah. Should have thought about that. I, yeah. Well, any luck? Uh, no. N not that I've seen so far. R really? R where? You got a job for me? Well, don't worry. I think I have a job for you. You'll see tomorrow. Just be ready by 7am. <laughs> 